let's take a look at how we can get started with the Anthropic API as a JavaScript developer. So here we can build with Claude and let's start building. Now what we will need is an API key. So here, uh, let's make sure we're not using uh, couples API keys. Uh, so we'll create a new one, we'll say super Thor test uh, key. And we can just use the default workspace, create that key here. So now very important, this is a secret key. So do make uh, keep that secret. So we see and has his fingers in here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new project, we'll just call it test. Um, what we will do is we will um, in it a new Superbase project. Yes, we want to use Dino edge functions. Also, we always should make sure um, to upgrade our Superbase uh, every once in a while. Brew upgrade Superbase. Okay, great. And now we can open this in um, VS Code. Well, at least I like to use VS Code. Uh, and then what we will do is we will create a new Superbase function. We'll say Superbase functions new, uh, let's call it ant just to be fun there. Okay, so now we have a new function. Uh, and what we can do as well is we can create, um, we'll create our .env file here. And uh, we will pass in our and anthropic uh, secret key. Um, and we'll copy the key from here over to here. Fantastic. Okay, so now we have our anthropic secret key. And now what we can do is we can go into our function. So, um, and then we can just go say, okay, developer docs, uh, we want to get started. And we have our uh, API key, we have TypeScript, yes, we're using Dino. So uh, we have TypeScript automatically. Um, so let's use TypeScript here. So we can get it from uh, NPM. So the way this works is um, we can just import. So in Dino, we don't need to install um, our functions, we can just import it from the NPM directory by just prefixing it with the NPM colon keyword, and then we just say cache um, from NPM. And so we're basically just pulling down our anthropic client here from uh, NPM, fantastic. And then what we can do is um, we'll just pass in our prompt here. Um, and that will be our text prompt. And then what we can do is, okay, we need a new uh, anthropic client. Now, the thing is that um, I think by default, it is using um, the dot env. So it's kind of looking, you know, it's again, optimized for node, but what we can say is here API key, um, dino.env.get, but we did call uh, our API key and secret key. There we go. That's it. And so now we have our anthropic client uh, instantiated here. And so now what we can do is we can create our message. And then we can just console log our message. So let's just copy that out. Um, see what happens. So we want our um, prompt content text, why is the ocean salty? Um, that is definitely interesting. But we'll just put um, our prompt in here that we got from um, the request. And then yeah, we're console logging out the message. And we can also JSON stringify uh, the message and return that. Okay, and I think that looks like everything should be good to go. So what we can say now is just Superbase start. All right, now our Superbase stack is up and running locally. 
Um, we also do want to see our function, so we can say superbase functions serve. Uh, we need to know, verify JWT, uh, because we didn't add any authentication there. And then we need to add our ENV file, which is in superbase, uh, I think, dot ENV. There we are. Okay, so we're now up and running. And so now what we can do is we can take this request, fire that off and see what happens. Okay, there is some responses here. Waves, crash and spray, minerals dissolve, rocks and earth. Uh -huh. yeah, very interesting. Um, so we get our response here. That is very, very nice. So uh, very quickly to get set up. Now let's have a look at how we can maybe stream messages. So very, very similar. Um, but just with a um, client messages stream uh, text. And so what we can do then is we can replace our call here. So this was uh, messages create. Now what we're going to do instead, um, we called our client uh, anthropic, we're going to create um, a message stream. Uh, so we're just going to say uh, const message stream equals and actually this one doesn't need an always here it doesn't have any effect. Maybe we should open uh, a PR to update that. Um, so what we're getting is a message stream and then that message stream has some um, on handlers. Now, in order to return that as a, you know, we want to return it as a text uh, event stream. So text event stream, so kind of service sent events um, that we could then, you know, handle on the client side. Um, we want um, a new readable stream. So we'll say const equals new readable stream. So that is um, a classic web API. And so now what we can say is, you know, we basically start as we start a stream, we get a controller. Um, and so message stream on text. Um, that's actually right, exactly right here. So um, message stream on text, we're going to enqueue um, using a new text encoder, um, our text. And then lastly, what we can do is we can add another on handler um, for the, I think, end um, event. And then we can just close the controller. Um, and then we'll just return the stream uh, instead of our JSON stringify response. Great. And then let's do the same thing again. Uh, let's open this up here. Maybe make this a bit bigger. Um, same request. And so now we can say, oh, yeah, wait, we need to actually pass in the prompt. I think we're still saying hello. Um, so let's pass in our prompt and our prompt was, why is the ocean salty? And so now we can see here, we're getting our text streams as the response is coming in. So yeah, very, very neat, very easy to get started building with Claude using the Anthropic API. Um, let me know if you've tried it out with Superbase Edge functions before, and I can't wait to see what you'll build. See you then. Bye-bye.